mindfulness meditation, which of course now is everywhere, we speak of the mindfulness revolution. When 35 years ago or so, John kabat began the MBSR, the Mindfulness Based Stress Reduction in a hospital, he did a tremendous service uh, to humanity because it went to hundreds of hospitals for people who were suffering, not only the patient but the caregivers, and give them a way uh, to you know, experience their difficulties in a much more healthy, benef beneficial way. So, great service. Now, of course, it's everywhere. Okay, it's good, but you know, when it goes to corporations, sometimes you might think, well, why are they want to be more mindful, just to be more ruthlessly efficient? So there's a little risk, although the experience shows that, in fact, it helps them to have a better judgment, better human relations. So the dreaded sort of uh, uh, negative effect didn't seem to happen. Nevertheless, I strongly believe that if we were speaking from the beginning of caring mindfulness, that uh, component of benevolence, of compassion, of altruism, which is naturally comes along if you do properly the training of MBSR, but it's not so explicitly uh, expressed as I think it should be, especially when you go to the corporate world. Because you see, you if you are caring, you cannot be ruthless, you cannot be, there could be a mindful sniper, a mindful psychopath, but you can have, have a caring snipers and caring psychopaths. So to avoid that, start with being mindful while growing and cultivating compassion. So you get two at the same time, because to practice compassion and altruistic love, you need to be mindful. So I think that's Personally, my humble opinion is that will be uh, the way to go if we want to spread it all over the place.